any major health problem occurring in our body will completely derail our routine it will affect our life then on when you expect a sudden loss of vision in a person what will happen it will affect him both physically psychologically so sudden loss of vision is one of the major issues that can happen to a person welcome back to ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners today let us see about the causes for sudden loss of vision sudden loss of vision is also of two types one is painless sudden loss of vision other thing is painful sudden loss of vision let us see some examples for each central retinal artery occlusion it is a ophthalmic emergency suddenly the patient gets blind because of the occlusion of the central retinal artery by the embolus from the cardiac system or from the carotid system so this leads to sudden blindness if the patient can reach the hospital within few minutes it can be corrected and vision can be brought back if it is being delayed the patient will become completely blind that too permanently the next cause is central retinal vein occlusion which is of two types ischemic and non ischemic type in the ischemic type of central retinal vein occlusion the patient can become completely blind in that particular eye second is retinal detachment involved in the macula retina gets separated that affects the macula tumens the patient becomes completely blind massive vitreous hemorrhage nowadays diabetes mellitus is very common lot of vascular diseases are common in the retina they may lead to massive hemorrhage into the vitreous cavity sometimes occupying the entire vitreous area leading to complete blindness central serous retinopathy it is due to the defect in the blood retinal barrier leading to leakage of fluid below the retina so this is going to cause black spots in our visual field that too in the macular lesion if you develop that will lead to complete blackening of the things what you are concentrating on next thing is methyl alcohol poisoning illicit liquor taken by people may land up with complete blindness or it may lead to death also next is papillitis papillitis is nothing but inflammation of the optic nerve head this papillitis will lead to sudden drop in the vision so papillitis should be suspected in case of sudden painless loss of vision coming to the painful sudden loss of vision i am going to start with retrobulbar neuritis retrobulbar neuritis is inflammation of the optic nerve behind the optic disc papillitis we have already told it is the inflammation of the optic disc or optic nerve head so this will not have pain but this will have pain this will have a pain behind the eyeball retrobulbar pain will be there that will be experienced by the patient when the patient is moving the eyes the pain gets exaggerated it is because of the close association of the meningeal sheath of the optic nerve as well as the origin of extraocular muscles in both papillitis and retrobulbar neuritis patient will have afferent pupillary defect patient will have color vision defect for red and green color next is the acute congestive glaucoma in primary angle closure glaucoma suddenly the patient may go in for acute congestive attacks with severe pain redness and massive drop in the vision acute iridocyclitis acute iridocyclitis is inflammation of the iris and ciliary body where there is a severe inflammation affecting the aqueous humor iris and also the vitreous humor 
there will be a lot of outpouring of cells and proteins leading to sudden drop in the vision with pain. Injuries of the eyes, both mechanical injuries as well as chemical injuries can also lead to painful sudden loss of vision. Papillitis and retrobulbar neuritis, you should always suspect when a patient has had a history of viral fever few days back or the patient has had a vaccination a few days back, the patient may develop a papillitis or optic neuritis. This papillitis or optic neuritis can lead to unilateral blindness or bilateral blindness. If the patient is treated yearly, then the patient will completely recover his vision. If it is being delayed, there may be a permanent loss of vision. These sudden loss of visions are mostly an ophthalmic emergency. The patient should not delay in approaching the ophthalmologist and the ophthalmologist should not waste much time in treating the patient. If you waste too much of time in treating the patient, patient may become permanently blind. Time is vision. So, each passing second or minute is very very essential in bringing back the vision in sudden loss of vision patients. We will stop here and we will discuss about some other topics in the next video.